gusto talaga namin masuffocate yung yung audience sa dilim. Uh, a description ko when we were talking about it, yung my cinematographers and myself, yung nakakalungo. So there was this liquid aspect to it na dapat maubusan ka ng hilinga. Yung gratifying thing for me was that to sinabi ni mga artista na they felt that while filming because we sort of simulated the, uh, the conditions eh, dun sa, dun sa shoot. We were in a big warehouse, the sobrang lamig. Tapos wala talagang ilaw. There was really no other light except the light coming from the smartphones. Pag tinititigan ko yung Magic Star, parang tinititigan din ako. Yung sound designer ko has always been my sound designer in all my films. Si Corinne is San Jose. Yung way that Corinne uses, seemingly uses silence as sort of like part of the sound design. I think if you listen closely to 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 the sound in those scenes, may sense ka of a vacuum. Tapos there were moments there na sobrang tahimik pero actually hindi siya tahimik eh parang invisible sound We were also on the same page in terms of trying to achieve a certain level of discomfort for the audience Kaya I think that's synergize yung yung collaboration kasi walang ano eh, walang limits. Ako nga minsan sa inyo nag-rain in na parang sobrang extreme na yan. Pero we still try and push it. Safe houses. May ibang tao dito bukod sa atin. Uh, I've always imagined the darkness to be sort of like a, a jelly-like void. So parang for me, at least in my head, that's what it smells like. Tayo niyo yung tawag ko. Ako ang tatawag sa inyo, okay? Huwag niyo kong tawagan. I was cathartic. It, it's the catharsis have a taste, I don't know. Hindi ko maalala, basta alam ko yung pagkain kami nung day na yun. Eh. Alaalala ko lang, may, may litsyon at the end of it. Pero yung feeling kasi was, was really uh, a rush finishing something. For what it's worth, it, it was very well-oiled uh, shoot and we sort of got uh, what we wanted. If you haven't seen it yet, please go see Midnight in a Perfect World. It's streaming exclusively on Upstream PH until the end of February.